What's going on guys, I'm Kelico Plays, and welcome back to today's video of which is a tutorial on how to create a YouTube thumbnail and if you like that idea, please drop a like and subscribe for more of these videos and I'll happily make more of them. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I'm in Adobe Photoshop here and I'm going to create a new file. Now, YouTube recommends that the width should be 1280 pixels and the height 720. Now this creates a 720p thumbnail and is actually a lot better than 1080p. So as you can see, here I've got a blank canvas. Now I'm going to take this as if I was creating a Minecraft thumbnail. So I'm going to go and take and open the th screenshot of my series, The Minecraft Noob. And if you want to check out that series, that can be there too. So as you can see here, I've got a really horrible screenshot here. I'm going to crop it down into what I want it to be for the video. Maybe bring it out a bit. I don't know. I can decide that in a moment. So as you can see, I'm going to take this. I'm going to drag it right in here. As you can see, it's too big. So I'm just going to... I, I don't particularly want the face cam in it. So I'm just going to bring it down. And bring it to about there, I think. Maybe... No, we'll keep it like that. And I think that's a pretty cool... Maybe give it a bit of a lighten but apart from that it's pretty cool we'll give it a nice little kind of grey overlay and turn down to about 10% so it looks a bit nicer so there we've got that and now you want to decide where you want your text generally I just type out my text in any font I've got selected so let's just go for this sake the Mo the minecraft new now for many of you, thumbnails will be consistency, and that's what you need. So, I'm just going to enlarge it slightly, and make sure you can see it. So, that's quite a nice size. I may adapt the font, though. But I do quite like that font itself. Actually, no, we'll keep the font there. And as you can see, it's looking okay. Maybe it could look a bit better, but if we take off that, that slant adds a nice bit to it. But what we're going to do now is if we open up here... And go into stroke, we want to add like a 10 point stroke onto the titling so it makes it look awesome. Maybe a drop shadow also. I normally run 25 uh, and then a 25 again, running that at 100%. With a spread generally just to bolden it out like that. Now as you can see, that's a very basic thumbnail there. It's got screenshot of the gameplay with the title The Minecraft Noob in the middle. Now the way I could make it a bit more interesting is this. So there you have your basic thumbnail. Looks rather attractive. Let's see if it passes the viewing test. You gotta make sure it can be readable. So it doesn't quite match the viewing test. So what I do in that instance is this. Hit enter and enter again and enter again and align them into the center on Photoshop now as you can see that looks a bit odd we'll just enlarge it maybe adjust the text to what what suits it but you want to kind of make this kind of standout text because of course it is the thumbnail title and is the title of the video for example so there you've got the tutorial kind of text and we'll center it because center is always nice now if we were to go minusing and to get it to pass through the test again it's a lot more readable at smaller lengths and you've got a nicer thumbnail you may want to adjust the way it views but for now we'll keep it there and you can also add a nice little kind of effect if I do it on top of it first I'm gonna go with kind of a nice blue because I'm a blue person like I like blue so we'll go with blues and hopefully a bit darker so that one oh gosh that changed that one press ok now we want to get the gradient tool make sure we've got that one selected cancel press ok and then just drag it across it doesn't matter where because it's quite subtle the difference is here we're just going to go filter Distort, wave. Now you want to make sure the filter is 299, then 6464, six, four, then 3434. Three, four. If it's adjusted, it doesn't matter. Make sure it's 
on that those settings press ok now if it goes the wrong way from what you want go like that drag it down instead and it should give you a different angle on which it will do it that's a bit too close but just want to make it so it's kind of more of a gradient effect oh gosh reverse and we'll go for darker yeah that's it yeah we'll go for that now if we go filter wave just repeat it you get the nice stripes coming down like that now if i was to go filter again and distort again go polar coordinates and just press ok you get an effect like that now if i was to pull that down that looks ok now if i was to go like this for example you get that effect if I was to lower it a bit more, that looks pretty cool. You've got a basic thumbnail in Photoshop. It passes all the tests. It stands out a bit more. And you've got a nice little test. Take that off. Put it on. Take that off. Now, if we turn that, if we turn this back up to 100%. It looks cool, but I'm going to keep it at 20. And there you have a real basic thumbnail to help you grow on YouTube. I've been Kelly Kill Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out these videos coming up on screen now for more awesome videos. And I'm out. Peace.